Hey guys, it is me, Jack for today's video. I have a non-spoilery book review for Daughter of a Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This book actually comes out on February 28th. It is a YA fantasy novel and it's actually the author's debut novel. I was sent this book in exchange for an honest review. If you don't know, I've actually been anticipating this book for so long. I cannot believe I have finally read it and I have to say I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.25 to 5 stars. If you like me and love books, about pirates, I would definitely recommend this one. It is the first book of part of a series. In this book, we follow our main character, Elosa, who is the daughter of the Pirate King. So the title of this book does make sense. And she is actually a princess. And in this book, she actually gets captured on purpose in order to find an ancient map on the ship in which she gets captured from. But as she spends time on this ship, she actually starts to fall for one of the pirates. And that's all I'm saying because that's all I really knew about it. One of my favorite things about this book is our main character, Alosa. The blurb on this front is actually from Anna Banks and she actually describes that our main character is almost like a Lady Jack Sparrow. I absolutely love the Pirates of the Caribbean, especially Jack Sparrow. I feel like everyone loved Jack Sparrow. But the fact that she described her, our main character in this book, like that, that made me very intrigued. And when I picked up this novel, I so understood what she was talking about because our main character has a ton of spunk. She is a very individual soul and she knows who she is, she embraces who she is, but yet she doesn't fully understand who she is. And I love sort of understanding how she's sort of figuring out herself slowly through this book and learning more about herself. And she's extremely confident. I mean, she is the daughter of the Pirate King, but she doesn't take any crap. And I really just love that. I love how she sort of fights for herself and fights for the people she loves. And along those lines, I also found a certain aspect that I wasn't really expecting to come along with Elosa. And I'm not gonna say it because yet again, that would be a spoiler, but if you have read the book, you might understand what I'm referring to. There is a sort of quality about her that I wasn't expecting, but I actually really love that feature in this novel. I thought it sort of made it very distinctive compared to other pirate novels I have picked up. Of course, I loved the pirate elements featured in this book. Yet again, pirates are like one of my favorite things when it comes to books, movies, TV shows, and it is just such a fun time getting to sort of read the element and everything like that. And I thought Trisha did such a great job with making us as readers be able to really understand what was going on and be able to really picture it in our heads what was going on and also along with the pirate aspect I really enjoyed the dialogue because yet again it was like witty and spunky and this book just had me very entertained and wanting to just finish this in one read which was really hard because I'm extremely busy with college but I couldn't help but just like sit down and try to finish this book in like one sitting. Another point I wanted to make was our characters besides our main character. I really enjoyed the fact they were very distinctive and it was just a very broad, full, wide cast of characters. And although some secondary characters or third characters weren't necessarily too important for the story, they still had a very distinctive like trademark to them that you can tell that they weren't just like put in there for nothing. They had some substance. I do want to mention quickly the main character's love interest. I actually really enjoyed his character. I can't wait to learn more about him. But specifically with our main character and this love interest, I do have to say, although I enjoyed their interactions and the idea of them being together, I do have to say that it did leave like a little bit of a insta-love taste in my mouth. Just, I don't know, it wasn't overdone. It's not something that I absolutely hated. Um, I did find that yes, I enjoyed these two characters, but I did feel like they were progressed a little too fastly for me. At the same time, it's hard for me to say that because this book is so short and it does fly by so maybe it was just the fact that I was reading this so fast that it did feel like 0 to 100. So it's hard for me to really be like, this is insta love because I don't really feel like it is. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the plot for this book. So yet again, I think my favorite thing about pirate novels is how I find that I'm always reading them super fast because I feel like the plot of them is so intriguing and interesting and along with these characters you sort of want to sort of follow along. And specifically with this plot I found that since I loved her main character being able to really follow her and follow this journey and this story was just so pleasant and I just really love this book. I can't believe it is the author's debut novel. I would definitely recommend picking it up if you haven't already. If you haven't heard of it definitely check it out 
lot because it is very easy to read, really fast, and you just can fly through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. I know it was sort of all over the place, but I just feel like this book is one that you definitely have to pick up and read on your own. It is definitely an adventure and I just loved our main character and I hope you do as well. I just want to quickly thank Heather yet again for sending this book my way. I will leave information on this book down below in the description box. And that's all I have for this book review. Bye!